Lately, I was taking a break from content creation, social media and even gardening. It was not intentional in the beginning, but later I made it on purpose. I was enjoying the last days of summer with my friends and family. We visited some very beautiful places. There were a lot of cultural events that took place. At the end, all this took a toll on my health and I was down with fever and cold. So I forced myself to take a break. Now that I'm back, I feel again motivated to create some videos and get back to gardening. That being said, this is the state of the garden after two months of neglect. I'm feeling overwhelmed, lots of work to do. Many more veggies to be harvested. The small little vegetable patch was going out of hands. Actually, I did wait for a few days, I don't know, waiting for some garden fairy to do the work for me and again procrastinated. But when it comes to gardening, you are carried along by the earthly calendar. You can postpone things a little bit, but there comes a point where the delay becomes a missed opportunity or a lost possibility. Sometimes in the past few weeks, the weather has changed. The air is crisp, sun felt different, and it has become so cold, and you know when autumn is here. This is probably my least favorite season when it comes to gardening because it is cold and rainy outside and your body and mind craves some rest to stay up cozy inside. But there is a lot of work to be done in your garden. Anyway, no garden fairy came, so I have to do all the work by myself. Meanwhile, this channel has turned 2k strong and I'm forever grateful for your kind and motivating comments. I know it is not easy to appreciate someone's work and take the effort to comment on social media. So thank you very, very much. This is one of the reasons that kept pushing me to come back to content creation. Whenever I feel overwhelmed, I tend to make a list of things to do and tackle them in small chunks. Now it feels doable. Let us tackle them one by one. At first I decided to harvest the rest of the veggies so that I can start removing the plants and make space for new ones. Most of them are past their time of harvest but I'll collect whatever I can use in my kitchen. The rest I'll try to collect some seeds from it the next year. This small space has given me a lot of harvest this summer that we have not bought veggies from the supermarket in the past couple of months. After harvesting the rest of the veggies, I started to remove the plants that have dried up and also done with producing their fruits. They have all grown so wild that I cannot even distinguish them from each other. I have harvested all of the okras and chopped off their leaves. They had such huge root system that I had to try really hard to get them out of the ground. I feel like I disturbed the ground a lot. It is really not necessary to remove the plants now. I could have left it as such. But since I am in a rental space, I want to keep the garden clean. So removing them. This is a healthy chili plant. I've harvested all the chilies. Now I'll chop off the foliage and remove the plant from the ground. Later, I decided to give a try to overwinter them in a container. So I'm going to remove the zucchini plant from this container and plant the chili instead.
mulch them to protect the roots from the cold. Later, I'll also cover them with the fleece. This is a voluntary red spinach plant that is growing in this container. But look at the amount of weed growing along with it. I'm going to remove them all now. Let us tackle the barrage plant. They have flowered all throughout the season, but I need to remove them now because all the plants around it are turning leggy. They've mostly taken over this bed. I'm collecting some flowers before removing them. I'm giving support for all the other plants that have turned leggy. Now, here is a problem that I didn't anticipate at all. When it started raining, the slacks started to appear, especially on the brassica bed. On this day alone, I removed around 10 slacks from this bed. This is a tomato plant, a variety called Aunt Ruby German Green. Due to the lack of care, all the fruits are eaten by the insects. I need to protect them better next year. Now, we just remove it. There is nothing else to be done. I've been trying out Bokashi composting and it is working very well for me. This is a compost after mixing Bokashi or fermented vegetables with soil. Now that the tomatoes are removed, my raised beds are free. This bed has been extremely dry the whole summer, so I'm going to add some Bokashi to improve the water retention in these beds. The next thing to do is to sow some seeds of crops that grow well in autumn season. A video on that will be coming soon. It is hard for me to see my garden empty. There is always something to look forward to if I have plants growing in my space. So I keep trying to grow as many crops as possible until the winter kills them all. Here are the radishes and pak choy that I had sown in September. They are ready to be harvested. Next I am covering the beds with the fleece to prolong the growing season and to protect the crops from the cold. Seasonal changes always calls for a quick clean up. This is the amount of garden waste. I don't have space to compose them all, so I'm going to dispose them in the designated places here. This was a short video to motivate myself to get back to the things I enjoy doing. Hope it also gave you some inspiration to get some work done. Believing that the spring will return soon, let us welcome a new season of winter. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next. Bye and take care.